Hello and welcome to Crafting at Home with OC Public Libraries. Today we're going to show you how to make a paper plate woven rainbow. For supplies, you're going to need a thick paper plate, yarn in rainbow colors, masking tape, scissors, and paint or crayons to decorate your plate. First, cut your paper plate in half. Next, decorate your plate to look like the sky using whatever materials you have. Then you're going to cut a slit in the bottom flat part of your plate. Now make seven more cuts evenly spaced across the top of your plate. I found it easiest to cut the plate in half, then in half again, then in half again, and that made seven total cuts. Now take a length of yarn about the length of your arm and wrap it around the plate. I'm using gray yarn. Start by wrapping through the cut on the bottom of the plate and then wrap around through the leftmost cut on the top of the plate. Now go through the bottom again and through each of the cuts on the top of the plate in turn. If you want to know the official term for this part of your yarn, this is called the warp. It is the part of your yarn that is attached to your loom in weaving. Once you're done wrapping your plate in yarn, tie the ends together behind the plate to secure them and keep them hidden. Now take another length of yarn that's about the length of your arm, I'm using blue to start my rainbow, and tie a knot to attach it to one of the strings of your warp. Use a piece of masking tape to wrap the other end of the yarn you're working with, and this will make it stiff and easier to weave with. Wrap it into a long, thin tube that looks kind of like a needle. Now weave your yarn over and under and over and under and over and under your warp yarn. Once you have woven the tape all the way through your warp yarn, you can pull the yarn tight. You want it just a little bit snug to keep a nice shape. And then you can weave back the other way. Since we ended the last row going under the yarn, when we come back, we start by going over that same piece of yarn. And then we follow the same pattern, over, under, over, under. When we get to the end, pull the yarn tight after every row. So last time we went over that end piece, now we're gonna go under again, over, under, over, under, over, under. Keep going back and forth with this same pattern. It's okay if you make mistakes, you can always pull the yarn back and try again. Once you get almost to the end of your piece of yarn, cut off your masking tape and simply tie on your next color. A nice double knot will make sure that the yarn doesn't come undone and it's okay to leave the ends because we will just hide those behind our weaving. Don't forget to cover the other end of your yarn in some masking tape to make it easier to weave back and forth. And then when you're ready, just start weaving exactly how you were weaving before. The first few rows will be in the old color, but once you use that all up, it'll switch neatly to the next color. As you go, tuck the ends behind the weaving and it will hide them perfectly. Continue like this through all the colors of the rainbow. And then when you're finished with your last color, cut off the masking tape and tie the end of that yarn to one of the loose ends that's behind your weaving. It can be a little fiddly, so you might want to get an adult's help for this part. Great job, you're done weaving your rainbow. I bet it looks great. As always, thank you for crafting at home with OC Public Libraries.